Hi, cloud is critical for digital transformation and cloud computing technologies are evolving all the time. Today, we invite William Fan to give us some insights on the future cloud technologies on Cloud Focus. Welcome, William. Thanks. I would like to ask, what do you think about the future trends of cloud computing? Yes, cloud technology uh, is evolving very fast. When cloud was started more than 50 years ago, all the resources are centralized. But you know, when more and more custom workers are moving to cloud, some of their requirements are changed. See, they need uh, performance. It's basically uh, have high requirements of network latency, and they have high requirements of data security. So centralized cloud it probably cannot meet their requirements. So one of the change is the distributed cloud. So now cloud expands from the centralized data center into the edge side, and some of the workers can even um, expand into the customer data center. The second change is uh, uh, simplicity. Simplicity can to human nature. You know, everybody likes the uh, uh, simplified thing, things. So it can be put into two different categories. One is about development, to, to simplify the development. So there are different kinds of ways. So that is why there is a low-code or no-code movement for, for Huawei. We have uh, uh, products like um, uh, ABD Cube to simplify development. And then we also have, have you know, cloud dev um, CICD pipelines to simplify how customers to develop their applications. And another thing, the other thing is uh, uh, simplified management. So that's why there is a change of the service. Uh, basically, there are two things. One is the function as service and the other back end service. Both of them can help customer to simpl simplify their management. I mean, their um, product and service management on the cloud platform. The third trend, I think, is everything as a service. As I mentioned earlier, you know, while we have invested a lot into the research and development, we hope that our cool technologies can provide to our customer via cloud service model. And when customers get used to the public cloud service model, they, they like you know, the cloud to access the uh, product and service via the, via, via the network. Okay. So in everything as a service, there's three different categories. One is the infrastructure service, and the second is the technology service, and the last one is the expertise and service. So we try to, to bounce different kind of product service and product and technology and to provide to customer as a cloud services. And the last change is the multi-cloud. So you know, from customer perspective, they don't want to put all their eggs into one basket. They want to you know, leverage different cloud vendors. So they will choose different cloud vendors and to, to make sure they are not bound to one cloud vendor. Okay, so that is, the, um, is a very obvious change in nowadays. Right, so I see, um, actually cloud is very critical, I have to just um, say that, but deep integration with cloud is not that positive for every enterprise. Yes, enterprise. it's not easy. Um, so do you, do you know why and um, do you have any suggestions on them? You know, when customer, you know, especially the end of a customer moving to the uh, cloud, there are some challenges. And so they have different ways when they are moving to the cloud. The first stage is probably very easy to relocate. They're trying to move the you know, on-premise workload to the, to the cloud, but it doesn't change the applications. That's the first stage, and it's uh, the sim simplest stage. And the second is they probably use some of cloud native technology to re-architecture their application. And they are, maybe they will use, uh, you know, um, uh, container um, uh, microservices kind of things to build their applications. But they are not fully leveraged the cloud power. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so that comes uh, the, the third stage. We call them a deep integrated with the cloud platforms. Mm -hmm. uh, that means, you know, they are leveraging uh, most of the uh, cloud service or the platforms. When cloud was in its early stage, it's mainly provide uh, resource uh, services. But now, you know, cloud has been evolved into a comprehensive platform. You know, not only the resource products and services, but also, you know, data services, AI services, and media services. If a customer want to uh, fully leverage the cloud power, the power of cloud, you know, uh, they have to integrate their application with different kind of cloud services. And uh, to, to, to do the digital transformation of their business. That is a three different age and three different stages. And for that is also why in last year Huawei promote the cloud native 2.0, which basically means to, to help customers to move from on cloud to in cloud. In cloud means to have a deep integration with the different kind of uh, cloud services. 
So I see there are a lot of challenges when people are trying to adopt the cloud. So do you have any suggestions on how to help customers to you know, really welcome cloud computing? After some years of having customers move into the cloud, we realize that uh, different customers have different needs. And they, some of the customers, they probably you know, choose to use the public cloud services, uh, which is fine, totally good. But some customers, they probably, especially a large enterprise, they have some concern on their data security kind of things. They probably you know, want to have some of their workload in their you know, own data centers. So we have different solutions for these kind of customers. One is um, intelligent age side, IES. You know, IES can help customers to, to get a uh, public cloud-like uh, services, but it's located in custom data center. There's a network connect to the public cloud services. But some of the customers, you know, they want to manage their, manage their own cloud environment and want their um, uh, cloud in their own data center. So in, for those kind of customers, we provide SCSO solutions, um, Huawei Cloud Stack Online. And based on customer needs, you know, they can operate their own data center, own cloud platform, or they can uh, ask Huawei to help to operate the data center. Okay, so in three different kind of uh, scenarios, customer can choose and uh, based on their requirements, um, requirements of data security kind of things. Yeah, it's okay. really flexible. Yes, so that's, it's probably, it's also, uh, you know, based on the, the history of how, how Huawei get into the cloud business, uh, it's a natural uh, choice for us. For customer thinking, you know, they should, Basically, you know, they should uh, embrace the cloud transformation. Uh, we think, you know, cloud can help them to accelerate their digital transformation. Mm -hmm. You know, because you know, uh, cloud vendors are experts in providing different kind of, of services, and customers are specialized in their own business, uh, including developing their business applications. Mm -hmm. So, by leveraging the cloud vendors and uh, their own, you know, expertise, is I think uh, one plus one is, uh, is bigger than two. Thanks for watching this episode on Cloud Focus. I hope you like it. Please scan the left QR code for more documents about Huawei Cloud technologies and the right QR code for more help in our Huawei Cloud Developer Forum. There's more to come, so stay tuned. I'll see you next Wednesday.